Wagwan people, Wagwan tea sippers, Wagwan regenerals, how are you all doing today? I hope you're feeling good, I hope you're looking good, I hope you're feeling airy because we're going to get into it. Today's read is all about who wants to serenade you right now. So who wants to sing a tune, who wants to show romantic feelings towards you we're gonna look into who wants to serenade you right now so if you haven't already come and join the family come and join subscribe okay like and subscribe at wagwan tara and tea yes tea sippers people me generals okay so I'm sipping on some green tea and I've got some water. What are you sipping on today? Let us know. Put it in the comments. Okay, put it in the comments. What are you sipping on today? So as you can see, we have pile one, pile two and pile three. Okay, so look, you know, just have a look at the look at the numbers that you can see here. And which one is calling you? Yes, which one is serenading you right now? Okay, is it pile one? Is it pile two? Or is it pile three? <laughs> okay, which one is calling you right now? Okay, and just hold on to that number. Okay, but before we begin, okay, we're gonna do a little bit of some good good gratitude you know why because it brings good good energy into the reeds and we're all about love and light around here we're all about that good good energy okay in jamaican patwa jamaican culture when something is when something really you know excites you 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 know feel makes you feel good or you have, you've just had some food and it tastes really nice and you say oh it's good you don't say it's good you say it's good good okay when something really nice yeah you gotta repeat it and say it twice all right <laughs> so get comfortable okay because we're gonna just get into the gratitude okay all right here goes thank you universe thank you guardian angels Thank you, spirit guides. Thank you, ancestors, for the messages that we're about to receive today. May the messages resonate and connect with the collective, okay, and help them to strengthen their intuition and to use their discernment every time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so we have power. Pile two or oh, pile three. Okay, which one is serenading you right now? Okay, pick that pile. Make sure you got a nice cup of tea. Okay, put it in the comments, and I will see you on the other side. Wow, go on. Wagwan people, Wagwan tea sippers, Wagwan with generals. So we have pile one. Okay, we're going to look and see what's under the cards. Who wants to serenade you right now? Okay, let's have a look. But if you, before we do, please be sure to like and subscribe. Okay, come and join the family. Okay. And make sure you have a nice cup of tea or a beverage or a cocktail, you know, anything that you feel like right now before we get into the messages. So let's see. Wa Guan. Okay. And Wa Guan just simply means what's going on, what's happening in Jamaican Patwa. And that's what we're going to do today. Yes, honey. Yes, darling. All right, let's get into it. Okay. So, let's start with the Rider Waite. We always have to big up uh, Pamela Coleman-Smith, okay? You see, this, 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 this reading is really making me want to, you know, I feel really jovial. I feel really, like, singy-singy. I want to sing and... Ooh. <laughs> 
Right, so who wants to serenade you right now? So, right, so let's start with these cards first because these were the cards that came out first, okay? So, someone that wants to serenade you right now, wow, I can feel a sip coming on. I can feel a sip coming on, bear with me. I can feel a sip. All, all of a sudden, I turned my card, turned the cards. And I've got some nice green tea. I could feel like my throat was drying up. And I feel like maybe this person may have felt like that. But they want to serenade you. They want to get the confidence to come and just serenade you. Look at you. I feel like it's like this is you, the strength. This is what they're admiring. But I feel like it's someone that has been away. You know, someone who's showing up as the hermit. But I feel like the time away, and it could be a separation, it could have been a recent breakup, it could be an ex. This is definitely somebody who is either from your recent past. And I feel like they see you as this person that has kind of, the person that has gone. And I feel like this is what the kind of the energy that they kind of wish, that they wish they can kind of get you back. Because these were the cards I asked for slum more clarif clarification and it's someone that saw you or someone that was in your life someone that wants but also i feel like someone who wants to defend this union someone who wants to kind of maybe take the time and fight for this this is what i'm getting from this okay and especially with the the eight um the strength card being here so it's some, I'm getting this kind of energy of someone wants to work on it. And, and I feel like this, who wants to serenade you right now, baby? I feel like they kind of want to sing you a song, you know? I'm kind of getting like a really, a really kind of romantic, you know, saxophone. Um, the song that's coming to mind is... I'm trying to remember the song, but if you if you can remember the song, please put it in the comments below, okay? That's the song that's come into mind. Um and I feel like this person's kind of like maybe has been listening to a lot of kind of romantic songs, and I feel like when they are listening to these romantic songs, they are thinking of you a lot, especially with the hermit hermit energy being here okay now with the seven when i asked okay can we i asked for these cards to kind of just give a bit more information on this what's going on here and the seven of wands came out and the world so i feel like this is somebody who's probably this time apart has then made them realize oh my gosh this person was you know i should have maybe i should have thought about i should have thought more i should have took the time you know um because i feel like the time apart has now made them see you know who you was who you really who you are you know the diamond i'm getting the diamond in the dirt they really saw who you are and I'm, but i also kind of get an energy of like well they should have saw that before shouldn't they <laughs> but i feel like you know sometimes is this a saying like sometimes people don't realize what they have until it's gone and i feel like this is the energy that this person who wants to serenade you with like romantic love songs um and i've, I've got another song you come and close my eyes i think i've got i've got you like yeah i'm really getting this kind of energy that they might be listening to a lot of romantic love songs or they might be hearing a romantic love song or if a romantic love song com comes up, a romantic love song, let's rewind it. Because when the messages, when the messages come through, sometimes they want to come out like, Wah. so re 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 rewind, we're just going to rewind it a bit. Yay. <laughs> okay. So I feel like this person might be listening to the, the radio a lot. They might hear lots of songs, but every time when they hear a song, they think about you again and I feel like if you have been kind of like oh why is this person keeps recess resurfacing in my like thoughts and sometimes that's you know it could be them kind of like 
sending that kind of energy telepathic energy towards you that's making you recognize oh yeah i'm 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 feeling that energy as well okay wow now let's see what's under these intuitive 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 okay messages okay so it's got i've been working on me i have been working on me okay so i feel like this could be like messages that these they could be wanting to sing to you right now i've been working on me baby hey i've been working on me let's see i have changed for you baby with the world i have changed for you baby <laughs> Ooh, I've got a massive crush on you, baby. Ooh, I've got a massive crush on you, baby. So it could be a new energy as well. Maybe there's someone around you that could have a crush and they're not saying anything and they're trying to just keep themselves together. But I feel like they it I feel like the general energy is someone from your your recent past and they have maybe that time apart has then really made them like think wow i really still have strong feelings for this person and i feel like that time apart has then not only given you the strength and i feel like it's given you the strength to kind of regain your independence as well as you know take that time to work on yourself but i feel like that could be a joint connection in that you both have been doing that and but i feel like that time apart has made that person really realize wow i really had a good thing going on got another song coming we already got a good thing going a real good thing going yeah that girl and me yeah <laughs> well i did say this is about serenade so i'm kind of get this is the energy i'm getting it's really like lots of love songs lots of li and it could be just listening to a wide variety of love songs okay if anyone knows what that song that you know that song put it in the comments as well you know the the singer um has gone off has gone i can't really recall it right now but if you know any of the songs please put it in the comments below and put as well put down in the comments what are you sipping oh yes darling yes honey you gotta put it in put it on those comments okay but i feel like this person is really kind of wow since this time has gone apart they haven't they've kind of recognized wow this this person was like what was i thinking this is what i'm kind of getting what was i thinking what why was i messing around or playing like you know like as if you weren't you weren't a diamond and then treating you like you were um I'm trying to think of something try to look i'm also getting, kind of getting like a i was i didn't see the diamond that i had or i didn't see the platinum that i had and i was treating you like he was a bronze that makes sense so it's like imagine you know it's the olympics and then you've got you know you have that kind of like the bronze that nobody really wants and it's like oh but then not realizing that bronze was actually the the, the 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 prize okay the main dessert okay the main dinner the mains okay the the snack the lunch the dinner the dessert you know everything everything combined but i feel like this person is really seeing that now but again you know you've got to trust your intuition it's all about your free will everyone has free will trust your intuition okay remember these reads are only entertainment only okay but it's all about trust your intuition okay but i feel like this person wants to kind of um i'm kind of getting the energy of flowers chocolates serenading you maybe like asking for a dance or if if dance is something that you enjoy doing it could be something it could be also a way how they could be trying to energetically trying to communicate with you at this time okay wow wow especially this i've been working on me and i feel like this has been this is definitely the the hermit energy here with the strength card combined okay and um 
if we've got eight plus nine, okay. So the eight plus nine, that makes, let's get, let, you see the maths, you see the maths, we've got, get, let's get the maths right. It's okay, this is how I, do, this is how I used to do mental arithmetic. Okay, so I used to do, <laughs> I used to do, count the one that's closest to 10. So if we do eight plus 10, that makes 18. So we take away one, that gives us, yeah. Eight plus that's wait, we 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 got to rewind. So eight plus ten makes eighteen. Take away the one that gives us seventeen. So seventeen. If we in numerology, we we separate that now and put one together and seven. One plus seven that makes eight. A again, what's the energy of the eight in the cards? Look. The strength card so the, and as well as representing that energy of working you know doing something taking action okay so I feel like this person has been a little bit of mental arithmetic there was it yeah <laughs> but I feel like this person has been really trying to like work on themselves even if it could be just listening to a lot of motivational um as well as like romantic kind of like um, speakers or maybe could be even watching YouTube videos listening to podcasts they could be listening to songs and I feel like they've kind of gathered healing from these songs they have kind of gathered kind of like um, this kind of heat I, I feel like it's kind of helped them to heal maybe heal areas in their life where maybe they weren't so confident when they were with you or did not want to or did not take the time to really appreciate what they had in their life and I feel like that's the kind of the energy that I'm getting um, with this person that wants to serenade you they want to serenade you okay especially with the world being here I feel like that's kind of like this heavy energy of they wish that they did more they wish that they took the time to really appreciate what they have you know um i'm gonna pull out a jamaican proverb because the jamaican proverb that's really coming to mind is wanty wanty can't get it getty getty no want it and that this simply means when you have something wait sorry when you want something so bad you want something so bad you don't have it it's like that kind of you're creating that resistance energy now when you when you've got it you're kind of almost like oh Oh, it's like that four of cups energy. You still feel like there's the, the grass is greener on the other side. You still don't, you're still not content with what you have. And I feel like this could have been the energy that was going on um, in this scenario. But I feel like that time apart has really helped that person to kind of see, wow, what was I thinking? I feel like that's the energy I'm getting. What was I thinking? What was I doing? And I kind of also get this energy that there might have been third parties, maybe listening to others people who might have not been have the best the best interests at heart or maybe their thoughts or their thoughts or how they they valued i feel like it could have also been people who may have not been in any serious relationships and it could have also kind of been that kind of oh you i'm i'm getting you 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 you're whipped now or you're you're oh you you don't want to do stuff with us no more and i feel like could have i feel like this with the seven of wands energy that could have been the thing that they could have also been struggling with when trying to build a connection with you but also being heavily influenced by what was going on around them and how that was also impacting the relationship but i feel like with this the hermit being here the time apart has made them kind of really see all oh, all those things you know that glistened that wasn't really gold all those people that kind of was trying to give me um information about oh why you want to why you want to like get so serious in a relationship and things like that and i feel like they've now taken that time to go wow i wish i wish this is what i'm getting i wish i wish i wish i took the time to really look at what i have in life i really appreciate it i really wish that i took i didn't i didn't invest so much time in listening into others that really weren't about 
building a relationship with somebody or taking the time to know somebody i really wish that i i did things differently and that's what i'm what i'm getting with the wanting to sing i'm getting this energy of wanting to sing and romance and wish they could have done better okay with the hermit being here wow right so let's pull out the jamaican proverb because we already said we was going to pull it out and we still not pull it out yet simply meaning we said we're going to pull it out we haven't pulled it out so let's see what the jamaican proverb wants to tell you about this person okay so this person what other additional message you want to tell us tell the collective the collective the collective okay we also it's also mercury retrograde you know so i'm a gemini so that plays that does you know it likes to play with the air signs a lot but you know what we we are we we're, we're going to play it too okay we don't we're not going to make nothing gonna stop us we just you know we just run with the energy i saw it go that simply means that's how it goes we're just going to run with the energy that's how it goes all right let's get into it and we also got a, a eclipse and a new moon okay so there's a lot of energy going on okay Let's see what wants to come out for the collective which holds power one. Who wants to serenade you? Who wants to serenade you? Oh, well, look at this. A similar one came out to what we said about the wanty wanty can't get it. But this one's about what is for you can't be on for you. What is for you can't be on for you okay one more time for those in the back in the back 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 what is for you can't be on for you hey what is for you can't be on for you hey what is for you can't be on for you this simply means what is yours can never be taken away can never be removed okay whatever the universe blesses you with that is yours that that can't be taken away that is yours that is yours and I feel like this is the energy here it's you know this person is really realizing you know wow you know you know maybe this was like once in a lifetime opportunity and I kind of let it blow I let, let it blow I let it you know I let it kind of come out my hands like this but I feel like it's also with the strength card you know what you just it's like this feeling of like if it's meant to be it's meant to be okay so look you know it will come don't rush stay consistent stay focused on your goals be happy for others and know that your time will come and i feel like this is this is maybe how you might have felt in this union okay maybe how you might have felt like you know you're working hard i'm, I'm kind of getting a very like hard working energy and wanting to build wanting to grow wanting to take the time to you know work with this person but i feel like this person was still kind of and like, i i can always get this when it's like that inconsistent it's like what you're saying no but what are you saying but what are you saying no but what, what are we doing here okay what are we on what are we up like i'm kind of getting this kind of there wasn't it was kind of like well you know not doing enough but i feel like now the time apart has now made the person realize Oh, I want to do more. I want to do more. Why didn't I do enough? Why didn't I take the time to serenade my baby? Oh, baby, baby. I feel like that's what they're, you know, I should have took, I should have taken that time to fight for this, you know. But again, you know, what is for you can't be on for you, okay? And, you know, sometimes, you know, people that come into our life, it's also for lessons. Sometimes there could be lessons that, where we have like karmic lessons if there are things maybe in our past or um or things that we haven't learned from like it can kind of repeat that cycle but i feel like within the world here being here it's like a new cycle and whether this person wants to serenade you and you have any like maybe you might have no interest in it at all i feel like it's also you know overcoming this cycle and you've taken this you know taking that time to work on yourself like it can it just brings new energy new positive good good vibration energy and claim that good good 
claim that good good vibrational energy okay into your life right so we're gonna just i'm gonna pull out one more clue let's see from these pictures um you know if, if there's any can we have a some more clues from the these pictures about this person so who wants to serenade you some more clues from the pit from these pictures let's see who wants to serenade you oh wow quite a few came out let's have a look so right so they might like um they might like like wearing nice garments they might like wearing um clothes you might have gone shopping with them um you may have like gone traveling with them or tried new things with them so there might be like cultural differences and things there okay this person you could have been maybe doing like um monotonous kind of stuff like just general maybe you know everyday routine things with this person um or they may be very particular with how they like things to, done or arranged um i'm also kind of getting there might have been lots of conversations um in the bathroom maybe like while brushing your teeth doing like just doing kind of morning routine like ritual things i'm also getting that maybe there might have been some traveling with this person um or maybe even talks about traveling talks about trying new things especially with look the world being here okay so i feel like maybe this person could be either a worldly person or they enjoy traveling or this or some traveling could have been something that you both enjoy doing together or if it could be you know traveling through food like i love trying different types of foods you know so it could you know whether it's food it could be again dancing you know siesta look la siesta could be wanting to serenade with serenades and you know just enjoy good times and we have um again clothes so maybe clothes could be something um it says here clothes and accessories so maybe clothes could be something really big with this person okay or they really like clothes or they really like to look um dress smart and things like that i'm also kind of getting maybe there's been maybe times when you see them or when you had um when you were together or um you know all times that you've been together it's kind of like people might have said oh yeah you you two look really good when you dress up and things like that um or as well as they like to go out and go shopping and things like that so um, i hope these messages are resonating okay on who wants to serenade you right now but collective, be sure to look good, feel good, okay? And I'll see you on the next one. Remember, take what resonates and leave the rest. I saw it go. Take what resonates and leave the rest. This simply means just take what resonates and leave the rest. We have to say it with power. Leave the rest. I saw it go. I saw it go. This simply means that's how it goes around here. Okay, so just take what resonates and leave the rest. All right. Look good, feel good, and I'll see you on the next one. Wow, go on. Wagwan people, Wagwan Decipers, Wagwan Me Generals. So we have pile two, okay? Bo, before. Bo, 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 Bo. I meant to say so. Someone's name might be Bo. Who knows? Okay. <laughs> but so, before we begin, okay, be sure to have a nice cup of tea. Okay, just get yourself feeling nice and comfortable. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to Wagwan Tara and Tea. Come and join the family, okay? Because we're gonna get into it and see. You know who wants to serenade you right now so thinking of think of like romantic feelings singing you know 
you know, wanting to kind of whisk you away. Who wants to, who's having those feelings right now? Let's see you walk one, okay? And walk one just simply means what's going on in Jamaican patwa. What's going on? What's happening? Let's see walk one. All right. So we're going to start with these cards, okay? So we've got the Nine of Pentacles. We've got the Nine of Pentacles and we've got the High Priestess. The Nine of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Now I feel like this person that wants to serenade you is somebody that you intuitively may have may have sensed. You may have sensed this person. And I feel like this energy may have come as well that you are taking that initiative to really work on yourself. I'm you know, when I feel when I see the nine of pentacles i feel like it's like get that bag sis yeah get that bag sis yeah get that bag sis yeah get that bag a a booked and busy looking independent feeling independent i'm about that yeah <laughs> that's the type of energy i'm getting you know you really kind of just working on yourself you know loving on yourself your mindset, your whole attitude around money, your career, all those kind of things, okay, combined. It's like, I feel like that's really where you're at and you're taking that time to do that for yourself, okay. But I feel like this other person as well could have been doing that. But I feel like that the, the high priestess being there is that you may have been sensing this feeling like someone, someone really wants to romance you, someone, and it could be someone as well. From your recent past someone that may want to connect or they may have been sending telepathic messages so in pile one we said that you know the person may be trying to serenade you and they could be doing it through like listening to like love songs they might be hearing love songs on the radio it could be a song that maybe you both enjoyed listening to um you may have danced to or anything like that i feel like this could be um, something that you may have both done together I feel like it could also be maybe if you had like you know with the nine of the nine of pentacles it you know on the right on the right away deck it represents uh, like this this lady who is abundant with, with gold everywhere and I feel like this could be something maybe that even when you when you were together or if you go out or anything like that it's like from head to toe honey you look good you look good you look good from head to toe you look good <laughs> i feel like that's the kind of like the song that i'm getting who's that lady mm -mm. Ooh, who's that lady and another song that's coming um oh i think it's by temptations i think now I'm that type of guy to do 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 treat her like a lady, treat her like a lady. That's it, treat her like a lady. I feel like these kind of songs might be songs that this person might be hearing, and I feel like it could be also making them just kind of like intuitively like, oh my gosh, man. I feel like it can, it could be making them really feel and probably like having lots of thoughts about you as as well probably kind of reminiscing I'm kind of getting a lot of reminiscing energy okay now this one's quite interesting this deck because this is the simply tarot deck but I like the imagery in the in the nine of pentacles where you can see like um all these kind of things that um that are growing around um around this figure so you can see lots of you can see fire you can see all these grapes and grapes represent abundance okay you can see all these things growing like some earthy things fire and i feel like that's all that energy everything that the um this person has um or like yourself has been working on to build yourself to build that kind of independence I feel like this this is also bringing this energy or rooting up this energy that wow this person is now sensing that you are becoming more independent okay now sometimes this can also create like a you know that sense of like a runner chaser energy so it's like when this but when you're like say right you know what 
I'm done with this. I'm going to work on myself. I'm not even really going to be focused on love right now. That can then create a massive energy shift in the other person for them to then start sensing, oh, they're not, I'm not kind of getting that vibe. And it could be even just like, you know, taking yourself to say, right, I'm not going to even look on social media. I'm not going to even take any interest or, or anything like that. I'm just going to work on me. And sometimes that can create this kind of like, oh, I sense like, you know, this person's may no longer be thinking about me or anything like that. Okay. So I asked for a card to clarify this situation from the Rider weight. The Rider weight Smith. Hey, I just recognized, oh, Rider weight Smith. We have to, we have, we like to big up, big up, big up, big up, big up Pamela Coleman Smith around here. Okay, because did you know Pamela Coleman Smith has the, you know, with the tarot, she brings that Jamaican connection as well. Yes, she does. So we always have to, we always like to big her up and use the Rider Waite tarot deck as well. But all right, let's rewind it a bit. Re 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 rewind. Okay, <laughs> with the Nine of Pentacles and the High Priestess being here. And I asked for this card, I asked for a card to clarify with the Eight of Cups came. Okay, so the Eight of Cups. So I feel like with the Eight of Cups being here, it was definitely someone who had maybe walked away. Okay, whether it could have been your, yourself, you know, or the other person that walked away. Someone walked away from this situation. But I feel like the I feel I feel like this person who wants to serenade you. Um, they may have been uh, again listening to songs I feel like there could be lots of songs lots of things that they've been um, listening to or things that could have come up you know maybe on the radio or like a TV show or anything like that that has then brought them kind of resurfaced these feelings now a song that's coming is David Ruffin um, walked away um, but I also like the Bitty McLean reggae version um, and it goes like, you hold on me tighter and tighter and then I'm happy for, that's it. So I'm leaving, I'm leaving, yes I am. This time I'll make it fun, I'm gonna walk away from love. Yes, that's it, that's, that's the song. I'm gonna walk away from love, I think. That's what I'm kind of getting here, but I feel like, this has now made this person almost like I feel like they kind of get questioning did I make the right choice did I make the right decision in this because like this is the you know the energy of wanting to serenade you wanting to um I feel like it's kind of like maybe you know go on a date like a like a date where it's really abundant you're both like dressed up this is the energy I'm getting you're both dressed up to the nines and that just simply means like you know again look to the nines so about that abundance you looking really good you know that you know the good good you know in Jamaican pack women you have to say it twice man this is a good good boy girl you look good you look good you look good, you look good, you look good, you look, look good. That is the energy, you know, you look good, you look turn up, turn up, okay? We like to say turn up, you turn up, you turn up. You look good. This is the energy, the abundance of feeling good, looking good, yeah? So I feel like this, this person really wants to see you in that kind of energy, maybe in like a... Uh, like a just like an abundant glitz, um, something like a kind of like a dress that is chic. Um, it could be any color. It could be gold or black. And I'm kind of I'm kind of feeling like maybe cat eyes. If if that's something you like doing, like lots of mascara around the eyes. I'm kind of getting this energy that is something to do with eyes and um, lips. Where this person kind of when they do look at you, or you do notice them looking at you those could be the areas that they kind of tend to to really focus on and i'm getting also the top of your shoulders your shoulders your 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 arms that could be maybe some areas that they kind of like um tend to kind of had focused on um ooh, ooh la la ooh la la look we've got pisces energy so 
there could be you know it doesn't have to be but it could be a water sign here as we've got eight of cups and the cups do represent water energy you know that emotional energy so there could be pisces as well as having the moon here and the moon is you know um in can also signify that kind of pisces energy and we've got reconciliation now see okay <laughs> when those messages come in we like to say Woy okay but i feel like this person okay they could like um um have like a rent you know wanting like a reconciliation you know this is what i'm kind of getting this reconciliation energy i feel like this person might be questioning did i make the right choice for moving away from all these eight cups that i had you know was it a valid choice was it a valid did i do the right thing and i feel like this could be a lot of you know especially look with this um high priestess as well it's all of this kind of intuitive energy going on and i feel like they've kind of sensed it and sensing that you um have kind of maybe you have moved on but i'm kind of just getting this energy like mm, you know it you know it is what it is this is what i'm getting it is what it is i'm doing me you're doing you okay you should have thought about that you know you should have thought about that when you had me <laughs> for real for real for real you should have thought about that when you had me okay <laughs> this is what i'm getting this i'm kind of getting this energy of now that i'm taking the time to work on me love on me prioritize me now you want to come back in my business <laughs> oh hell no <laughs> oh hell no <laughs> okay so this is this kind of reconciliation energy this kind of reminiscing on the good time baby with you so that's what i'm really getting this kind of like wanting to kind of reminisce but i feel like with the the high priestess being there i feel like they kind of know you know what man when i was like thinking and maybe being swayed by things did i really make the right choice and i feel like this is things that they kind of like having to deal with i feel like this could also be you know um maybe they're beating themselves up in terms of like oh my i wish i could uh i wish i sh i wish i could i wish i should i wish i did this this is the energy that i'm kind of getting okay when i had something good going on another song this song did come up in part one as well girl i got the good thing going a real good thing going yeah that girl of me now this the the artist's name it's just in my head but i just can't seem to get it out so if you do know any of the songs okay put it in the comments and also collective let us know what you're sipping on today okay we really like to engage with those comments okay so what you're sipping on today okay <laughs> I don't know what it is about this reading, but you know, it's all about serenading. It makes me want to serenade you too. I want to serenade you. Oh, I want to serenade you. Oh, make sure you feel good and look good, baby. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's like, you know, this energy of serenading. So we're going to pull out the Jamaican Proverbs, okay? Let's pull out the Jamaican Proverbs. Let's see what message the Jamaican proverb has for the collective, okay? So, okay, can you tell us some clues, additional messages about this person that wants to serenade? The collective who chose pile two. Ooh, okay. Here we got Nanny Goat, never scratch him back till him see wall. So the Nanny Goat, never scratch him back till him see wall. Okay, the Nanny Goat never scratches its back until it sees the wall. So the Nanny Goat never scratches its back until it sees the wall. So let's see what this means, okay? So this simply means be analytical and i feel like this is where the high priestess is as well about trusting your intuition okay be analytical and position yourself for opportunities and focus and execute 
okay so i feel like this is what you have been doing especially with the nine of pentacles being here is you've been taking that time to work on yourself taking that time to just you know work on you know work on your career work on building more money opportunities for yourself you know taking that time to really build i, I feel like you're kind of like seeing of i'm getting the word legacy wanting to build something create your own roots you know where those roots then turn into branches you know and turns into a really big tree i feel like this is kind of like the energy that i'm getting but i feel like look and we've got the tree look at that we've got a tree um with the high priestess here but i feel like with the nanny goat message as well is taking that time to you trusting your intuition and focusing on yourself because i feel like the more you focus on your own energy and you take that time to look after your own self this then this is what's creating you know anybody that has maybe been in your recent past it's also creating an energy shift in them because being like oh i'm you know they can you know and it's thing it's it's interesting it's like they can sense it you know when you're like taking that time to really work on yourself it could be making them feel really it can be creating even tower moments in them you know and to, and, and when we think of the tower it's like a sudden catastrophe and that sudden catastrophe is like oh well the universe was trying to tell i was trying to tell y'all i was trying to tell y'all you didn't want to listen you didn't want to listen now you didn't want to listen so you know here it is here it is but it's for your own good it's for your own good you know and I feel like this is what's happening for this person, okay? But I feel like it could also be making them take the time and go, hmm, man, did I make the right decision going away? Did I make the right decision moving? And I feel like they could be really caught up in this and feeling like, um, with like it being in reverse, although it didn't come out reverse, it came out this way, upright. But I feel like this person has walked away, but I feel like this person is still kind of like, did I make the right decision? And I feel like they could be really caught up in this energy. Now, you could be a Pisces or the um, or the other person could be a Pisces or you can have maybe Pisces in your placement. Does it have to? Or um, it can also have happened because we've just recently come out of the Pisces energy. So there could also be something to do with that. Okay. So we're going to look at... Um, some imageries here okay last but not least okay we're going to look at some imagery here and see what images wants to come out regarding clues about this person that wants to serenade you okay that wants to whine and dine you let's have a look okay let's see what other additional messages wants to come out for the collective who chose pile two okay can we have some more clues about this person that wants to serenade them, that wants to sing, that wants to romance them, wine and dine? Let's have some messages, please. Let's see what wants to come out. Who wants to serenade you? I feel like something wants to come out. This reading just makes me want to serenade you to <laughs> keep wanting to sing although singing is such a really good way to shift your energy and to uplift you and feel good so you know when you you know if you're like ever feeling like oh or you're feeling a bit low mood or anything like that put your favorite songs on and just sing and dance you know it's such a re it's such a energy shifter and a great way to boost your energy and make you feel good make you feel iry okay and iry is just about feeling good all right let's see who wants to set oh we've got one any more any more for the collective we chose power two. Oh, one fell on the floor okay we're gonna try pick up that one that fell on the floor oh that one flew all right so we have wow so look look at that we've got the radio in a car look at that <laughs> so there is definitely way <laughs> 
So there's definitely someone who has been maybe driving and they have been maybe listening to songs on the radio. They could be just listening and um, maybe on going on long walks, long travels or things like that or going for like a long maybe distance or or a long distance drive or something like that. But they could be kind of, you know, while they're in their car or they're traveling, they could be maybe that could be the times when their mind tends to go to go on um focus on you a lot and i feel like this could be maybe also them thinking did i make the right decision you know when it came to jane let's say for instance you're jane did i make the right decision did i right make the right decision now it could also mean you know maybe also you might have had thoughts as well of them um but i feel like it's kind of heavily this person may have been thinking about you okay right let's have a look look at this look at that look at that look what's going on here one person's going that way the other person's going the other way Why isn't look at that that's the eight of cups energy right there that is the eight of cups energy okay so i feel like you know it could have been maybe um i'm also kind of getting maybe a, not there could have been issues around closure not um not a like a proper closure it could have been maybe wanting different things um it could have kind of been like a um no, also poor communication i'm getting poor communication and i feel like maybe it could have kind of just went different ways or people went their separate ways but i feel like this is could be what could be making this person feel this way or they could be thinking oh did i did i make that right choice did i make the right choice okay but i'm getting a lot of contemplating energy here okay right and we oh we way oi way oi these intuitive gems are really popping out this is somebody that i feel like definitely is reckon they're just having lots of reconciliation energy around them and i feel like the more they stay in this and wanting to serenade you they want to serenade you baby i'm kind of getting a lot of like slow you know slow music like uh, whether it could be r b it could be jazz music um it could be ballads this is what i'm getting like lots of ballads and maybe thinking about you and look at this one it's like the the you know i feel like they could be just really reminiscing on things and wanting to kind of whisk you away like maybe t you know a drive somewhere and you can talk and things like that that's the type of energy that i'm getting from this person but i feel like with the the high priestess being here particularly in the center i feel like there's a lot of intuitive communication going back and forth between the two okay where it's the person who may have moved away or you have moved away and i feel like that that energy can be coming back and trying to really um communicate telepathically that they want to reconcile okay so that even if there's no conversations or anything like that because I, I feel like there isn't any conversations being had but i feel like it could be all intuitive energy of trying to communicate these thoughts and feelings now with the Mer we have uh, mercury retrograde that can also you know people from your past that can maybe resurface and things like that but i feel like this is somebody from the recent past um who is kind of like showing up here and I feel like with the moon being here and the moon represents that energy of you know it could be like our worries it could be us like really um thinking about things you know um, um emotional thoughts coming into play I feel like this could be really um what's going on with this person that really wants to serenade you so I feel like this person could be really you know listening to a lot of music listening um i'm also kind of getting the smell of roses some of them like might be smelling roses and every time they smell roses or um anything 
you know we've got look of these flowers any they could be kind of remembering or reminiscing on things so i feel like this person really wants to serenade you you know i'm getting sweet lady will you be my sweet lover a lifetime i'll be there i feel that's what i'm getting a lot of this kind of energy for you wow so again trust your intuition and it's all about your free will okay these reads are only entertainment only okay but to the collective who chose pile two i hope the messages are resonating you know what we like to do around here we take what resonates and we leave the rest okay we take what resonates and we leave the rest i saw it go i saw it go this simply means that's how it goes around here take what resonates and leave the rest i saw it go all right but be sure to look good feel good okay stay blessed and i will see you on the next one wow one Wagwan people, Wagwan Tisipers, Wagwan with generals. So we have pile three, okay? So be sure to have a nice beverage, okay? As we gather all of these intuitive messages from these reads, okay? And if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe, okay? Let's see Wagwan. And this simply means in Jamaican Patwa, what's going on? What's happening? So we're going to look and see Wagwan. Okay. Okay, so we've got the Three of Pentacles and we have the Temperance. So... The Three of Pentacles and the Temperance being here, I feel like this is kind of like a energy of wanting to work on things. Take that time to kind of, I feel like it's also something that will be in sync, okay, with your kind of like the inner, kind of like an inner spiritual feeling. I feel like that's what I'm kind of getting of wanting to work on things. And in terms of this person that wants to serenade you, you know, who wants to serenade you right now? I feel like this could be, look at what the, what the person is doing in, in the Three of Pentacles, okay? They're working, working in, in, in um, like, you're in a, like doing some woodwork and building something, but they're also using the resources around them. Um, as well as the resources in nature and things like that to help build this. So I feel like this could also be, you know, how the person's feeling right now is wanting to kind of, maybe they could be out in the nature, they could be uh, spending spending time outside. You know, we outside. Like I feel like that's kind of the energy that this person might be spending a lot of time outside. And you know, it's like we've got that springtime now you know, that like picnic time, you know, so I feel like this person could be maybe spending time outside, but I feel like this time to really connect. Um, and if we, if we look at here, the, the temperance here is represents like, it's like the energy of an angel. So Archangel Raphael, okay. Which is the angel of healing. Okay. We've got, um, the, we've got the water energy. We've got earth energy. Um, we have, fire energy and we have air energy so i feel like that's all of this energy here of like you know connecting to i feel like this person might have been taking that time to really wanting to work on themselves and it could be financially it could be wanting to work on their money it could be wanting to work on building more stuff substance in their life this is what i'm kind of getting more energy of substance if they might have been maybe in the past or when they were with you because i do feel like this is also past connection um i feel like this could be somebody who's really wanting to kind of like say right you know what before i used to act like a i used to act like a fool i used to act like i ain't got no sense but now i feel like now i'm recognizing you know and it could be even maybe them taking time to work on projects work on hobbies is really making them 
I feel like it's I'm, I'm kind of getting a sense of maturity has come um, to help them to really see that you know I need to be I need to be building my value and I feel like that building that value is like what they see as important um, maybe five years ago two years ago a year ago can be completely different to what they see as important now and I feel like that has really helped them to, to really build on working on what's important in their life okay but I feel like as they have been doing that it's also making them see that wow I really valued that connection you know and I really kind of like even with this it could be like temperance can also represent that soulmate kind of connection I feel like this could be you know wow I met someone that I really you know wow why like I kind of I why didn't I take the time to work on it you know why didn't I take the time to invest in it and I feel like that could have also really you know help them to see that again you know if it's someone new it could be somebody you know again as well about taking that time to someone or some someone new is like you know to wanting to take that time to want to invest and wanting to prioritize you know wanting to learn more about you and I feel like it could also be that energy of you know this is where I am and I'm only gonna you know this is I can only I can only bring in an, a, a love or a relationship that will add to me I'm not about take away no 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 we're not subtracting here okay my, my love life is is gonna be like mental arithmetic okay addition you will add to me okay honey darling okay <laughs> we're gonna bring auntie self love in here auntie self love darling honey all right remember love is supposed to add to you it's not supposed to be take away it's supposed to add to you and you will only get that love that will add to you when you you're taking that time to recognize you have to add to yourself eh? work on yourself spiritually emotionally socially physically you are taking that time to work on you all right i hope you're listening listen to auntie self-love all right so thank you auntie self-love that was into the ancestral voice there <laughs> but i feel like the ancestral auntie self-love is basically saying look whatever you know whatever type of relationship we want or we desire make sure it is a it's a it's a relationship where your self-love is intact okay it's intact you hear that it is intact yes we've got to say it one time one more time for those in the back your self-love is intact and that simply means you are taking that time to really work on yourself love on yourself and the more you you know pour words of wisdom because this is what the, the temperance is all about you taking that time to pour words of wisdom you know affirmations mantras meditations eating well sleeping well looking after your well-being looking after your health you know and our health is not just our physical health it's our emotional health you know how many times do you, have you said to yourself i look good i'm gonna big up myself this is why we love to big up you know big up big up big up the collective we have to big up the collective we have to big up people around here because it's about bringing that good good energy around here you know and i feel like this is kind of like taking that time to really pour that pour that energy into yourself again physically emotionally socially mentally intellectually you know challenging yourself in those ways and recognizing that you know you deserve you deserve abundance you deserve it my girl hey you deserve it you deserve it you deserve it so whoever comes in your life you know let them add and I feel like I'm also kind of getting don't be afraid to not um, to seek help as well like I'm kind of getting this energy of don't be afraid to seek help you know Especially with the three of pentacles being here, which is all about 
um, collaboration, working, um, you know, in a group, working together, and it could be even to achieve a goal or anything like that. Taking that time to do that um, and not feel a, um, feel no way, you don't feel no way, darling, honey. All right, remember say, auntie self love. Tell you that. All right. <laughs> okay thank you auntie self-love you're welcome darling <laughs> okay so back to this okay so with the three of coins and the temperance i feel like this person could also be just wanting to serenade you okay just kind of like i'm kind of getting this energy of oh baby i just wanna walk on what we have Oh baby, I've been taking the time to work on me Mentally, spiritually, emotionally and mentally Cause I've taken time to realize That you were that special one <laughs> That's the type of energy that I'm getting I tried to sing it in tune. I hope I was in tune. But this is the type of energy I'm getting. That someone's really kind of wanting to just come and say, look, this is who I am right now. And this is what I am about right now. This is my intention right now. And I want to work on, I want to work on this. Do you want to work on it? You know, and I'm putting myself out there. I feel like this person might try, like seek the courage you know, if they, you know, they may, so, you know, you might have heard from this person, you might have haven't, but I feel like this person is really trying to, could be like, really trying to seek the, the encouragement. It could be also working with people or talking to people, maybe seeking advice on um, how should I go about this? How should I go about it? Um, it or it could be um, maybe seeking advice from elders or people who might be knowledgeable. Again, you know, with the three of pentacles, it can represent that energy of collaboration working with others and i feel like this could be something that they may may have taken time to do whether it could be taking time to um it could be something therapeutic healing it could be maybe working on their physical uh earthy things whether it's money or anything like that i feel like it could be something that been they've been taking that time to really work on themselves and if we said like with the energy here of how the temperance has um, a bit of everything got the earth the water um, although it does represent that Sagittarius energy I feel like this is also representing that this person's take, been taking the time to work on on all different areas in their life as well and I feel like they kind of want to come in a way where they look more confident and more assured um, so that they can like say look well I am a um, I feel like I am now I've I've got you know I've taken that time to work on myself so that I can add to you and I feel like that can be the, the energy that they're sensing that oh even if I want to come back Jane's not going to take me back uh, you know Jane's not going to take me back when I was like a two it's only 10 she's accepting like this is I feel like they, they kind of like recognize that yeah you've been taking that time to work on yourself or even if it's energetically they sense yeah you're not about that and I feel like they can be recognizing yeah I'm not about that no more and maybe seeking you know courage to try and like okay can I you know can I get this or uh, get a ch or take the time to get a chance of talking and communicating how they truly feel but I feel like if it's someone new because I'm also kind of getting a new here it's also that sense of like the only person that's going to come my way baby hey is someone that's going to add to me you know pour some you know words of wisdom you know where I'm like ooh, 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 oh my gosh yes yes I feel like it's like a click fingers going on yes like I needed to hear that right now. I needed to hear that, and I, it could be like you know, just pouring words and pouring, you know, really. I feel like it's kind of saying like nourishing one one another's like souls, nourishing each other's spirits, nourish nourishing each other's energy, just feeling good. And I feel like that's kind of just the, the you know, in general relationships are all like you know, 
um, can have its trials, its tribulations, it can have its challenges. But I feel like when, you know, it's two, it's a union where it's like two parties are both, you know, wanting to put work in it and um, take the time to work, heal, grow and, and learn. I feel like, you know, wonders can be, wonders can come, wonders can come and build like a really uh, loving, nurturing soul mate energy. All right, right. So look at this again, look at that nine of pentacles to clarify this situation. I feel like this, the nine of pentacles is just basically everything we've just been saying, everything we've just been saying right now, okay, about building oneself, building that sense of security, you know, that content, it's, you know, this is the energy, and I feel like that's kind of, you know, way -oy, way -oy, way -oy. <laughs> that intuitive gems, you know, of something has to add to me, it has to add to me, and I feel like this is the person, this person recognizing it, and that's how they know they can, you know, to serenade you, it will be to kind of like, well, this is me. This is me, baby. What are you bringing to the table? What are you bringing to the table? And I feel like this person's like, well, I'm bringing another table. How about that? <laughs> so let's have a look and see what's here. Oh, look. Let's build together. Let's build together. Yeah, this person knows you ain't about that. You ain't about that. You ain't about that. <laughs> it's like no, 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 my love. Sorry, my love. If you want to get, if you want, if you want to get with me, okay, you better have some security. Okay, I've got this song. Um, Gwen Guthrie is in my head. Nothing's going on but the rent. You have to have a J O B if you want to be with me. <laughs> this is the type of energy that I'm really <laughs> I'm getting but look cultural differences so there could be some cultural differences um, whether that could also be like a, that spiritual connection uh, maybe religious you know it could be how you know how you value things it could also be like in terms of ethnicity um, race and things like that they could be although you know my attitude is only one human race but, you know, it could, this person could be from a different part of the world, okay? Or they might eat um, foods that are um, maybe different to the foods that you eat and things like that. Now, there's a strong energy of family. And look at build together. So, I feel like this per the energy that I'm getting from these cards, it's positive, you know? But I feel like it's a lot of abundant energy. And maybe this person is really taking that time to go, you know what? I can't keep playing. I can't, you know what? I can't. What am I playing for? You know, and I feel like this, it could be us also trying to get that courage. But again, it's all about trusting your intuition. Okay, trust your intuition and use your discernment every time. Okay, okay. So we're going to pull out a Jamaican proverb. Let's see what the Jamaican proverb wants to tell us regarding this person that wants to serenade you. They want to serenade you, baby. Okay, what do they want to tell us about this person? Any more clues about this person? Ooh. Okay, so we have a cockroach have no business in a foul fight. Okay, so a cockroach has no business in a in a fight that has any um that's a fight with fowls. So think of fowls like a bird, it could be a poultry like chicken, duck, to any turkey, anything like that. A cockroach has no business. Cause it would just get crushed okay a cockroach have no business in a foul fight all right so that simply means they have no business so let's see what this means okay don't get involved in things that don't concern you mind your business okay i've got does anyone who's watched keenan and kel back in the day keenan and kel that used to be one of my favorite shows but Keenan used to say, mind your business, mind your business. <laughs> and that's really coming to mind right now. But mind your business. I feel like this can also be like, this is your, I feel like this is also your energy of you being the nine of pentacles. 
and you're just I'm just about my business you know again if it adds to me all right if it don't <laughs> you can go move and 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 go just simply means move and go away move and go away honey because I ain't about that business you feel me <laughs> move and go okay go is yeah so it's just it's go away but it's kind of like shortened into go 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 so move and go and I feel like that is the energy it's just like yeah I'm just focusing on my business right now and it, only things that will add to me only things that will just make me grow and grow you know think of a think of a tree um or think of the before a tree starts it starts like a seed uh i mean starts to grow it starts off as a seed and then from that it just flourishes and flourishes and you nurture it you add water to it you know the sun also that pours its energy and you know that whole process of photosynthesis you know takes place who knows you know who knew you know <laughs> you can get a little bit of a science lesson in tarot reads <laughs> hey this is tarot therapy at its finest okay and then you know it grows and it's it, it, into a bl beautiful blossoming evergreen ever growing ever abundant tree and i feel like this is what the nine of pentacles really shows me and you look at all that gold and all that beauty um around around this person and i feel like this is you you're about this is about this is what you're on you know that i'm getting this is what i'm really dip on this is what i'm really dip on and this simply means that's what i'm really on this is what i'm really on so if anybody asks you i'm about my business i'm about my business what you on baby what are you on because i'm the nine of pentacles and that is the energy <laughs> this read about serenade it just makes me want to serenade the whole collective but if this is the energy <laughs> then i'm getting that you're just like yeah i'm just about my business and that's all you know and i feel like the, the um i'm getting donald jones but if you know donald jones r&b singer a big up big up big up one of my favorite r&b um singers okay but he's got a song that i'm uh, that's coming up with uh lisa left eye that is called you know what's up you know what's up because i'm feeling you this is the energy that i'm getting it's kind of like this person's really sensing it you know yeah you're you're, you're about you're about abundance you're about growing you're about learning you're about healing and i feel like this is like wow i'm really you know i feel like this person's kind of admires that about you and i feel like that's kind of like wow if for me to come come at this to come and approach this person i've really got to be i've got to, i've got to be on my a game i can't be playing with this person you know plus you know jane hasn't got no time to play so i know i need to really come i need to come correct this is what i'm really kind of getting you know i need to come correct yeah another song that's coming to mind no i don't want no scrub scrub is a guy that can't get no love from me yes see all about being about your business okay a cockroach has no remember a cockroach has no business in a foul fight okay so you're about you know building growing all those kind of things yes 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 so last but not least we're going to look in some imagery okay so this is just like pictures of like places things and things like that we're just going to look and see if there's any additional clues about the person that wants to serenade you right now so we're going to see what comes up about maybe their feelings or any any interest any things that they might particularly like or do just to help you to you know sense who this person is or intuitively sense who this person could be okay so let's have a look for the collective who chose pile three let's see what messages wants to come out of these cards regarding this person that wants to serenade them who wants to serenade you 
right now. Oh, we've got one. Who wants to serenade you right now? Okay. We've got two. Who wants to serenade? Oh, we've got three. Oh, wow. So this, there could be some distance here. There could be some distance here of this person. Okay. Now I do sense it could be like someone, you know, either again from your recent past. Or it could, you know, if it's someone new, it could be someone maybe you haven't met yet. But I feel like there could be maybe a, a, maybe a shared interest in travel or they could live at a distance. Okay. Mm. Okay. Let's see what this one is. So yes, there could be maybe this person um, could be like a collector. They like, or they could like, um, are into collecting or into um, learning about history or current affairs, arts, things like that. They might also like to travel and try different, um, maybe drinks around the world or um, have an interest about different cultures. Because look at this, we have. The intuitive gems <laughs> again about the traveling you know they could be them yeah or they could be again the cultural differences okay look at that how again we here we have traveling um so here yeah so it could be someone from a hot place a, a hot place there's places hot all over the world. Come on, man. Did we not know we got global warming? <laughs> yeah, so, okay, scratch that. Okay, this, it could be, they could come from a, a like, maybe warmer climates. Maybe, um, uh, I'm kind of getting, like, maybe somewhere in part, uh, somewhere around the world. Um, or have darker skin complexions or things like that. Doesn't have to be. Um, but I'm kind of getting that they might come from... Um, really like places where um, the, the sun is out okay the sun is out the sun is out the sun is out okay <laughs> or they enjoy just again part of that traveling okay someone that likes to travel someone who likes to keep a breath of what's going on and things like that so that that could be um, that might help you to know who this person is or you may have gone on a holiday or um may have met someone on your travels or things like that but it, there could be a long distance as well going on here okay so you know what we do around here we take what resonates and we leave the rest we just leave the rest i say it go i say it go we have to say it with power we leave the rest so to the collective who chose power free i hope the messages are resonating remember take what resonates and leave the rest i saw it go i saw it go this simply means that's how it goes around here take what resonates and leave the rest but be sure to look good feel good okay from head to toe in your abundance okay like the nine of pentacles energy okay and let us know what you were sipping on today. Yes, yes, yes. And I will see you on the next one. Wow. Go on.